What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how Nick Mir and Lil Tecca made the hit song Ransom using FL Studio and we're going to jump right into it. Alright, so the first thing I made for this beat was the melody and we're going to hop into Omnisphere here. And Omnisphere is definitely going to crash my computer. Alright, now that we got Omnisphere up, um, the sound that we use for this melody is the Bell Blaze from the JR Hitmaker internet money summer atmosphere bank uh i don't really know who that is but nick mir is an internet money he made the beat obviously he's going to use his boys uh sounds and atmosphere here so if we check out the chords here we have a g minor going into an e flat and then a d minor going into a d7 all right so right now there's no effects on any of this um it doesn't sound that pretty so we're going to pretty it up a little bit so the first thing I did was throw some reverb onto this, uh, make it sound cooler. Then um, threw an EQ -er on it, got rid of the lows, threw another EQ -er on it, boosted some mids a little bit just to run it through twice. And then threw on the stereo shaper. Don't know why I did that, but it sounds cool. So this is what it's gonna sound like after you put all the effects on it. And before. So if you can't tell, it sounds way better with all the effects. Sounds like it's actually radio ready. All right, now we're gonna check out how the beat was actually made. The first thing I did was get some hi-hats. I have this Nick Mira hi-hat. It's kind of like reverby. Put an envelope on it to make it sound less reverby. Then have this other hat, obviously stack them. And we're only playing eighth notes here. So let me pull that up. That's what it sounds like without any effects on them. And then we go in here. This hat has nothing on it, the Lex hat, and then the Nick Mira hat has a little bit of um, EQ to get rid of that reverb that I was talking about before. Um, this is what they sound like together. One. Next up, we have a clap. Okay, so Nick Mira, it sounds like he's basically using the Luger slap clap, which is a classic. It's in a lot of Metro Boomin songs. I don't have an EQ or anything on any of these claps. So basically together, this is what they sound like. And again, we're just playing some uh, two and fours. All right, next up is the snare. I grabbed this trunk snare and then snare 19. Don't know where that came from, but like sounds cool. And obviously I stack them again, layer your sounds. And if we go to the snare, this is the pattern I used. And this is what it's gonna sound like after the effects are put on them. EQ'd out the trunk snare, uh, cut out some of the lows, then threw some reverb on it, and then just threw some reverb on this snare as well. So this is with the effects. You can hear it has like, kind of like an echo from the reverb. All right, so now we're gonna go to the kick. The kick that I used was the Nick Mira Frosty Kick from the Nick Mira Magma Kit. Big Nick Mira plug here. Um, to be honest, I don't really like him though. His hair is kind of freaking me out. Um, if you got a haircut, you might be cool. So this is what the kick sounds like. And that's without any effects or anything on it. Let's take a look at the pattern I used. I think the kick literally just matches the 808. And then for the kick, I EQ'd up the lows. That way the 808 has some room to play. Um, and then of course I sidechained it to the 808. If you don't know what sidechaining is, link in the description. Basically makes your 808 sound sexy. And finally the 808, AKA the bass of the song. A lot of people don't know what 808 means, I guess. So yeah, it's the bass. I use this Nick Mira 808 from his song, All Girls Are The Same. But another good 808 is the Nick Mira Cutthroat 808. This is what that sounds like. Kind of gross you gotta like eq it get rid of the distortion whatever either way i use the all girls of the same 808 and here's the pattern if i can find it there it is so the song's in the key of g minor uh nick mirror likes to play the root notes of his melodies and his chords with his 808 and then i threw an effect on it of course i had some eq to make it sound a little better So the effect makes it sound way better. It's not as choppy, it's not as distorted. So this is what the drums are gonna sound like with the 808 and everything else together. All 
All right. Now we have the melody, we got the beat. There's one last thing missing and it is the background melody, basically the echo of the, the theme. Um, and Nick Mirror said he uses like a synth for this. So what I pulled up, I'm gonna open up Omnisphere again. It's probably gonna crash, it crashed. So for those of you that don't know, Omnisphere has like a ton of different sounds that rappers and producers and everybody use for their beats, but it's really good at crashing your computer. So I put two of them in one song. I mean, it's really not good for me. What I used for this melody, this background sound though, was the street, the steam signs, steam signs. All right, I guess. Um, it's basically like a synth for this, um, this background melody. I literally just repeated the chords from the actual melody and through, I don't even know which one this is. So it has the same chords as the actual melody and this is what it sounds like with no effects on it. This is what it sounds like with no effects on it. And then I threw on an EQ, of course, take out some of those highs, put some reverb on it, make it sound cool. This wet knob right here in the reverb makes it sound like really echoey, adds ambiance to your songs. It sounds good. Decay is turned up so it lasts forever. And this is what it's going to sound like with the effects. And without. See, it sounds way better after I put effects on it. Yeah, so that's about it. We have the background, we have the Omnisphere melody, and then we got the beat. Let me know what you guys thought of this video. Uh, let me know in the comments section if I did something wrong, if I should have done something better, and let me know what song you want to see next or if you like this type of video, and I'll see you guys next time.